everyone and welcome to my reaction to Dragon Ball episode 52 if you're watching it on YouTube. Although I've been considering these days uh, to put two videos at a time on the YouTube. It's a bit more difficult with the editing but I think I can make it work. In the live chat, shout out to Spyler who just sent 10,000 bits and said F and A. I can't swear in the first three minutes of a YouTube video. <laughs> I almost forgot about that. Um, well, actually, it doesn't matter because I don't monetize my Dragon Ball videos, so eh, who cares? Fucking A! <laughs> um, I have some Japanese snacks today that was gifted to me by Panya. Uh, she sent me some gifts for my birthday, but it was really late. It almost didn't get here. We were so worried, um, but it did eventually arrive. And the, some of the, the gifts included this mystery snack. Uh, I'm not sure... I did take a picture of what she sent. Let me just quickly... This one is umaibo, cheese and takoyaki flavor. I'm not sure. This one looks like maybe takoyaki because there's a little octopus on it. And this one is probably the kinako mochi. Or, yeah, this one is the kinako mochi, I think. Kinako is roasted soybean flavor. Mm. So I'm going to definitely be snacking on these and drinking my ice latte that I made as fast as I could. Also, besides Spyler, uh, who sent the fucking A bits, we have in the chat Modru, Sotos, Booty, Antonio! Happy Saturday! You're just in time for Dragon Ball. Uh, we, f we started with My Hero Academia today, so that's why I'm starting Dragon Ball a bit late. I, I think I'll be doing that every Saturday. So basically, my Saturday streams will be My Hero Academia, six episodes of Dragon Ball Reaction, and then ending with Kaiju. Welcome, Antonio. Happy you can join us. Mike is also here and dra uh, Dragon Ball. Dark Shadow will be joining us later after lunch. Nitsby is going to Japan tomorrow. I'm so jealous, but thankfully I'm going um, later in this year, so still very exciting. But yeah, we're starting a new arc today, I think. So well, let's see. Oh, I remember where we ended. That robot thing. Oh, yeah, and he made him go the other way. Uh oh. That to me is terrifying. I wouldn't do it. I would be too scared of drowning. You have to sue him, and you don't know how far. Okay, so today I'm just gonna. I'm not gonna look at the, the English text because it might be a little bit spoilery. Hi, Luke. Nice to see you. So I'm just going to try to read the Japanese hiragana. Uh, the first one is, I think, Yatta! Oh! Takara, o takara wa, o takara wa, Ken, something about the treasure, I think they found the treasure, oh, I, sh I should skip, I should skip, yatta, takara wa, something Ken, why is it so difficult to open, <laughs> I am like a child here, I feel like one, ooh, it's like, it's like a potato chip. Mmm. Mmm. I like it. It's like a potato chip. Mmm. Ooh. Uh-oh. I'm eating takoyaki flavor. I'm not eating takoyaki flavor. What are you talking about? No, no taco were harmed in the making of the snack. Probably. Mmm. Mmm. This is this is so Baldur's Gate. Mm, this is so good. Mm.
Mm, well, I enjoyed eating you. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. The switch over. That's so funny because his mouth is kind of the same shape as the snack. It was really, really yummy. Umaibo. Umai. It was umai. <laughs> She got hit right between the eyes. Jozu. Is that how you say he's good? Mm. <laughs> A trap. Okay, now I have to check a real octopus. I have never, I'm not into uh, see things because it's so scary. Octopus. Actually, now that I think about it, I've never seen that little toot toot horn thing, but, or its mouth at all. But not a drawing, a real one. <laughs> see, that's why I don't like see things. They're so, okay, well now I just feel like I'm violating the octopus so I'm just gonna leave I like the kids design more it's more cute I like the little toot toot <laughs> opening the one in the middle I think is I wouldn't have gone with the middle one I bet all three have traps in them those teeth were fake their mouths are beaks oh Ugh. <laughs> Come here, come here, Bye, Taco. Nice to know you. It's like powdery, soft, and then crunchy. This one was to me like, like a potato chip in a different shape and a really yummy and unique taste. But I've never tasted something like this kind of um, soft and fluffy and the crunchy at the same time. I think this one is called the um, Kinako Mochi. Soybean flavor. Soybean flour. Oh. Oh, and it's it's almost sweet at first, but then it's almost salty. So cool. Mmm, yummy, yummy. Wow. Hi, can you blame her? In in the eighties this guy was like Gojo. I 
I think I think Bulma should give him a happiness punch. He's gonna be so scared he'll run for the hills. Mm, this is so I really like the umaibo, but this is so unique and different and and delicious. But now I'm a bit full. Yay! Right in the face! Again! Don't stop! Kick him again! I hope his hair gets fried with the Kamehame! Ha! Huh. I know he can't do it, but I don't think he's gonna defeat him. I think Goku's gonna come and do the final... Okama Yaro? He just was like, say, Kono Yaro and Okama. Okama Yaro. And then they said, they translated it to you, flaming. Okay. This is not the official translation, is it? What did he do? That was an interesting perspective. That's true. But there's still such a thing as honor, but I don't think using psychic powers is dishonorable. But this perspective! And then his little bald head at the bottom! Was that on purpose? What did he do? See, that I think is... Smacking a little kid around while I can't move. That's not, it's not against the rules in a fight to the death, but it is dishonorable. But he's the bad guy, so what do you expect? Just happen as punch him. He'll dive into the water. It's, I think it's gonna work, but not in the way that she plans it to. She should just run towards him with no bra on. I think he'll run. Oh, I forgot. This was in the 80s. M men couldn't have boobs back then. <laughs> Someone tell him what it's like in 2024, though. She could be a guy. You don't know. Actually, he's cancelled because he just assumed she was a woman based on her boobs. Goku, Goku! Aww, she's a good girl. She bought just enough time! Kick him in the face! Fly, 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 da, 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 da. Goddess of victory? Will she show her something about panties in our faces? <laughs> Sorry, I was thinking about this, um, stream alert. This one, this one. The goddess of victory is waving her underwear in your face. <laughs> so I'm going to jump straight into the next one, actually, because I think these go really well together. So for YouTube, they should be edited together. So yeah, let's just jump straight in. The wiki is safe, but it's one of those that has a lot of words for few changes. We'll skip it. But let's jump straight into the next one because it was a little bit stretched out. I could I could tell with especially with the chop and changing, but I think I think that it was done pretty well. You know, they made it exciting and funny. So and also I was eating takoyaki snack with taco. 
Okay. Um, kyo, kyo fu no hikaru me. Kyo fu no hikaru me. Gotcha, gotcha, urasai! Scum! Look at the pot calling the kettle black! Okay, um, I guess he's more like Hisoka than I thought. Right? Why? That was a bad choice. She, she was trying to help him though and she did end up helping Krillin. You know, she bought just enough time but that was a bad decision. <laughs> Whoa. Nice uh, sequence. Yeah, in the face again! Did he just, did you guys hear him snort? <laughs> he totally snorted. <laughs> Top tier voice acting right there. Nah, get him, Goku! <laughs> He's gonna do the eye thing. Yeah, but it was on fair grounds. Now you're he you can't move. Just you wait. Where's the dragon ball? Oh yeah, because that's gonna or maybe at that close range though. Please trap him. Please tell me you're trapping him. Just run at him with your boobs. He'll be terrified. Come on, Bulma, do it for the, you know, to save Goku. He sh they should have made Bulma run at him with her boobs. <laughs> something about <laughs> the face then we 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 learned something about how i don't remember in what anime it was that martial arts and the, and the rock paper scissors is based on martial arts like because the vital the vital organs the something and the something i remember that yatta yatta banzai banzai um might want to grab the treasure and run in my mind he was defeated because Bulma ran at him with her boobs flaring I mean blaring I mean you know what I mean <laughs> and he he got terrified the way he was terrified at the mouse but instead of you know there just happened to be a mouse it's more funny in my mind if Bulma utilized 
her strength against his weakness. Scissor on the eyes, pepper on the nose, and rock on the chin look very effective to me. But there was a there was something about like Kung Fu was banned somewhere and then they and then they were playing rock, paper, scissors, but actually they were doing practicing kung fu and there was a story about that, but I don't remember when we talked about it. Ooh. More gems. Yeah, but the gems are worth nothing if you're dead. another exit huh wow that's whoa sparkly pika pika kira kira oh man <laughs> i don't understand this focus like for a while just on their feet but and then the next thing we see is just their heads being bonked. How did the Dragon Ball get there? In a year? Oh no, oh no. That reminds me. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I have Gigi socks. Hi Nox, you missed my Gigi socks from Panya. Uh oh. Kuririn. <sighs> What's he looking for exactly? Is that another exit? Oh, what a good boy. My dude, you're missing some teeth. Hmm? I know that's any good to you, dead. Have fun. A little mouse in his mouth. There's no point in all of them and to die together. And they did wait. And she did say, Goku, leave the Dragon Ball. There's no time. And he went and said, you know, I'll catch up. But what's the point of all of them dying? So I kind of get where she's coming from. And it's not like Goku would want them to die. But we know that Goku's gonna make it out, but she doesn't know that. He could have been hit already on the head or, you know, trapped down there when he was diving for the Dragon Ball. Yeah, they might not even make it. Because this is not where they came in. Well, yeah, we know. You know, Dragon Ball Z still needs to happen, so I know that they're gonna get out. <laughs> I just don't know how. <sighs> Aww. Aww, saving the rat. Love, Goku. The mouse. Nizumi. Wait, is there a difference in Japanese between mouse and the rat? Or is both just Nizumi? Now that they know where the treasury is, they can get that after the cave collapses. They just need to remove some rocks, which is easy for Hoku to handle. One more reason to hate ugly Bulma. Why? Because she didn't have the strength to save Goku when the whole place was caving in. They don't even know if they can get out themselves. This episode was stress. And another one, I hate the Bulma. Hmm. 
they can hate her because on the inside we know they jump at the chance to date the pitchy pitchy girl like her if they if they had a chance but they don't I respect Velma and I appreciate how far she has come no I don't know I think she's a realistic character she has her flaws we've talked about we talked about all the characters having their flaws during the episodes where Bulma and the Yamcha's fight was, you know, going on. Um, so we already talked about her being flawed and that's great because flawed characters are more believable. Um, but I don't know, I think she's in the same, in the similar way to how, you know, Usopp, Usopp is realistic. Like, because what, what is someone that doesn't have the same strength as, you know, the monster trio? What are they supposed to do in certain situations? Like, they're... Their actions are believable. Like she's not even, she has zero fighting ability. She's she's here as the one with the, like she invented the Dragon Ball radar and she, I mean she takes Goku on this whole adventure and he gets, he gets out because of her. The whole story starts because of her. Um, his journey starts that, that way. I don't know, I don't know what people expect her to do when she has like, she doesn't have any physical strength. It's not like she trained with Mutanoshi. They waited as long as they could, in my opinion. And I think also she knows she knows that the Goku is really, really strong. So he can find a way to get out, even if they can't. Like Because, once again, they don't even know if they can leave. Where's episode lists? Because, according to the map, the only way in was the way that they came. Why do I always struggle to find episode lists? Okay, we're on, that was 52, right? 51, no, 52 and 53. So 52 was the pirate treasure, and 53 was blue, black, blue, black, and blue. Blue, black, and blue. Kyofu no hikaru me, fear the shining eyes. Oh, thank you, I was so confused. Blue, black, and blue, I didn't read that. The second trivia point is spoilery. The third one talks about Raiders of the Lost Ark in case you want to avoid it since you... Oh yeah, I want to see Raiders of the Lost Ark. So I want to read that. The fight between the two of them was really good. I think I like the sequence, the movement, the, the choreography for the most part. And then I didn't love the mouse being the one to, to save Goku in a sense. But, you know, stuff like that happens. And it's his own fault for being scared like a little girl. <laughs> the history, the official history of rock, paper, scissors. Tracing its roots in Asia. The first known mention of rock, paper, scissors can be found in the Chinese book Wu Zazu, written by Xie Zhaozi during the Ming Dynasty. Xie claims that the game referred to as Shou Shiling by the... No, but I read about it. Since rock, paper, scissors was created as a substitute to martial arts, we all have we have all made a decision by a karate death match. Hmm. I have no idea where I read this story. It might not be true, but I thought it was so interesting if it were. And then each one, scissors, is targets the vital points. And uh, this, and this. Okay, so the major events are Goku battles General Blue. Goku retrieves the Dragon Ball from the Pirate Cave. I didn't see what number it, did it have. I don't know, I couldn't see how many stars it had. And then Goku, Bulma, and Krillin attempt to escape the collapsing pirate cave. So I'm supposed to skip the second and third trivia points. The first one has sub of sub points. So Bulma just tries to distract General Blue to give Goku an opening, though this backfires with Goku being distracted. This didn't happen in the manga. So we can, we can, um, excuse me, that was just to give more time uh, to the episode. So we can basically just disregard that scene, in my opinion. On a similar note, the manga has Goku having the clear advantage over Blue from the very start until Blue uses his psychic eyes. In the anime, Blue initially has an advantage, including kicking Goku around until Goku proceeded to turn the tables on Blue shortly after the latter punched a wall. Yeah, but that was because he only had the upper hand in the beginning because of the whole Bulma thing. So he got a punch in and then from there, you know, but that didn't happen in the manga. So, so I'm skipping this, the second and third points. Oh, this is differences. Oops, never mind. General Blue regaining consciousness and seeing all the treasure briefly before it's buried is exclusive to the anime. In the manga, he only makes an effort to retrieve the chest, with his motives differing in that in the manga, he was implied to still be aiming to take the Red Ribbon Army, to take it for the Red Ribbon Army due to mentioning his hopes to salvage something from the overall mission failure, while in the anime, he specifically decided to hoard the whole treasure exclusively for himself. But that was just... 
him being insane after being his head being knocked around because of what is he going to do with the treasure down there by himself? Uh, trivia. Even though the treasure was shown to come from the statue and not from the golden chest itself, the golden chest was shown to be full of treasure in the scene where General Blue kicks Goku directly out the chest. But I guess we could just assume that it fell into the screen, yeah. I mean, it fell into the chest. On a similar note, the treasure, when it was pouring out the statue, looked like a color specks. Only for the treasure to be shown in full in the chest, which may imply that the pirates who collected the treasure utilized a similar means to capsules to store treasure inside the statue. Uh, I don't know. It just looked to me like beautiful treasure falling and they, they just animated it like sparkles to look pretty. I don't know if that has anything to do with the pirates. Um, so the second and the third one I won't read. The location of the three-star Dragon Ball is somewhat odd as it would mean that after dispersing at the end of a wish to the eternal dragon, it would have had to fly under the ocean into the pirate cave through the submarine bay and its corridors, under the water, out into the treasure room, and then back underwater again before lodging itself at the mouth of the skull. I did think that that was a bit like, really? But I mean, it's a magic ball. It can do what it wants. Maybe it always wanted to be in the mouth of a pirate. That it let the ball live its dream, okay? The end of the episode shows Goku trying to navigate through a hallway intersection that was never depicted earlier in earlier episodes. This is odd because the first intersection Bulma and Krillin came across, they make a point of helping Goku along with the chalk arrow, but they never encounter another intersection. That's just because of time. They just want to stretch it out. This is the first episode to use the music from Curse of the Blood Rubies. Uh, Goku's dialogue with Blue prior to their fight was slightly different in the Japanese version and the English dub. In the Japanese version, Goku, referencing Blue's earlier beatdown of Krillin, promises to make sure Blue is beaten up this time. Blue then chuckles and promises in turn that he'll gladly show in full amount just how terrible he could be, before claiming that Goku should consider his being killed by him an honor. Goku then tells him that he talks too much, with Blue calling him scum, blah 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 blah. In the English dub, large... The English dub largely tones down Blue's graphic description of his appearance, instead having him simply demonstrate his bulking up and inferring he sees Goku's lips quivering with fear. Only for Goku to bluntly tell him he's little more than a balloon. <laughs> Likewise, the scene where Mousy appears is rewritten. In the Japanese anime, General Blue explicitly realizes that his psychic hold on Goku waned. Uh, okay, Goku telling him, oh, too much talking. Things were different. On a similar note, Blue in the English dub says in response to Goku's comments about him being scared of a mouse, it wasn't a mouse. Did you see the size of its tail? Implying that Mousy was actually a rat. Oh. Well, it doesn't really matter. Either way, you're scared of it, you silly goose. The English title refers to the euphemism for a severe beating as black and blue is an allusion to the color of bruises, owing to the color theme name of some of General Blue's episodes. I do find his reactions to being beaten pretty funny. Like he was saying, oh, my Sakura cheeks or something like that. And, and he's a pretty, he's really strong compared to a lot of the other guys. So I do enjoy his character and I enjoy how unlikable he is too. It's fun because he says all these in annoying things and I just want to smack him and I want them to, to kick him. But that's what make his character really entertaining. I think that, you know, he... I enjoy his character a lot more than I like General Silver or what was the other one? White. Blue has been the most entertaining, even though he's annoying. <laughs> okay, well, um, I'll end it here. We have four more to go. I thought that, that was a lot of fun. And I really like the treasure animation, all the colors. And um, I believe that everyone's going to make it out, of course. Goku, Bulma... Krillin and I just want to say I don't know how Goku feels about it but if if I if my friend warns me like don't go back there's no time for that and I go back into the house to get something when it's burning down you know I wouldn't blame my friends after waiting for me as long as they could I wouldn't blame them if they just got out because I was the one who decided to stay I don't want all of us to die so I personally don't have a problem with what Bulma did, especially considering she has no strength. She can't lift giant rocks off herself, nothing. Like, Goku, on the other hand, is insanely strong. He has a better chance to make it out of here, or at least 
I don't know, survive all the rocks falling on him. Like, I'm sure once the worst is over, they could still come back and get him, but not realistically, but it's a cartoon. Bulma was being reasonable. I would probably do the same in an extreme situation like that. Yeah, they waited as long as they could, and even Krillin, like, I don't know. Even Krillin knew in the end she's right. So I'm not gonna, what I'm saying is I'm not gonna hold that against her. It's, to me, it's realistic. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.